Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle level 2171, where we have 32 moves to clear out 65 frosting and reach 10,000 coins. So this is a demo job. We're going to make as many specials as we can that's going to have a high impact on this board. Um, we've got to work on this cross pattern, and uh, it's tough because we've got these cutouts. Now we also have these question mark... Um, dispensers that could help us, hopefully will help us. It's always a little bit of a question when it's a question mark because they could be good or evil. But whatever move we make, we're just going to keep trying and trying to strike some of the frosting with each move. When we can't, hopefully at least we'll be setting up a move so that we can uh, create something good for later. Yeah, see now I've run low on moves to make. So I'm just going to kind of group this orange together. There we go, and hope that something happens. That worked out well. And then we get that nice cascade. All right, and if I can't make any good moves, I try to make moves low to the ground. Unfortunately, I don't have any moves low to the ground on this board. So I kind of have to take what I can get until something better opens up. Now, trying to preserve this until it becomes a color bomb is probably pointless. So instead, I'm just going to take out frosting. Yeah, it's a shame that that could be used in a better fashion, but I'll just keep going. Let's see. Oh, I've got another special here I can create. And here we go. This is nice. Oh. Instead of taking this out, which was my first thought, I'm going to make two specials here. And I love when this is lined up, and I'm hoping, oh shoot, I couldn't use it there. Because it takes out a whole row of stuff. I might be able to preserve it until it comes back around over here, but that's a long trip. So I'm not going to hold my breath on it. I'm going to open up these question marks and see what they hold. Ooh, look at that. So we got some good stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and use this right away. Sure, I would love to set it with a wrapped candy instead, but that's unlikely, and uh, trying to wait for that is probably setting myself up for a big disaster. So, of course, the question marks, they're um, set on these ledges when they first come out, unless we can get them to flow through. And that's what we really want to have happen. We don't want to open them up when they're right under here. But once we get this gone and this gone, there's no choice. It does doesn't flow through anymore. So if we're going to open them at all, they're going to be in kind of this bad spot. Oh well. Oh, and there's chocolate. That's nice. She says facetiously. Ah, at least we've got something to counter it. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use that right away. We also got a thick frosting here. Now that's actually pretty good. Even though it bunks this up, it's more frosting in a more centrally located area and we can take it out. Okay, we're having a hard time with this side of the board. And I don't know how to counter that right now, except maybe just doing this. I don't see a great opportunity to use this with another special, so I'm going to take out blue because blue is working actively over here. And then let's see. Let me try to match up some purple and take a lot of stuff out. I'm more of an instinctive player than a thoughtful player, and so sometimes I don't evaluate all the moves they have on the board as well as I should. But as long as I'm making progress, I usually figure that's okay. And right now I'm making a bit of progress. I wish I could get these guys together or maybe even drop down and over here somewhere. I can't. Let's open this up. It's frosting again, but but it's in a nice location. So again, I'm not too worried. I can make a stripe here, or I can just take this out and open up this question mark. Or I can do this, which kind of gets only to here, so it doesn't do really any better than one of these guys. This stripe would only take this out. I'm doing this. Let's see what's in there. That's not a bad thing at all. We just can't get it accessed yet. Uh, let's see, what can I make over here that would take out frosting? Not much, so I'm going to make something low to the ground to encourage that cascade. 
can I set this off? No, because I don't have this opened yet and I don't have any other way to do it. Um, I'm going to do this so I can line up the green together. Ah. Oh, and here I'm going to do this to take out frosting on both sides. So we're doing pretty well, actually. We're going to get more frosting gone. I think we've got this now. Even though I can't get this accessed, at least I'm getting in here and clearing things out. So that's how I beat level 2171. Uh, this was my uh, third playthrough, but my second one was kind of uh, just uh, because the recording didn't work out so well. So it didn't take me too long to do this. There's a bit of luck required, and the luck comes in the form of these question mark candies. If you get some pretty good stuff, then you'll probably be successful. Remember to work low to encourage cascading and just try to take out as much frosting as you can as quickly as you can. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching.